Alright, alright, alright. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. How is it popping? I know it is a million years now. Two, two million years. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, today we're going to talk about notification. I want you guys to check this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the notification. Um, actually, notice something. This is an Android operating system. Yeah. Bliss OS. I'm running it directly on my laptop. Yeah, I actually installed it on a separate hard disk. I don't want to do a boot. I don't want to run it on the VM. I want full power of my laptop. So it's so smooth. Um, no hanging or freezing stuff. So guys, let's get back to the game. Uh, we have by Genius Test. Actually, the application I'm using to test run this create notification stuff is called pygenius tester is on my repo i'll be dropping a link to the uh, application in the description and also i'll be dropping a link to blaze operating system in the description of this video so um, let's walk out through i'm going to yeah minimize this this way and then open up brave yeah so we're trying to implement what we have here notice where i put hash hashtags everywhere that i put hashtags says to you hey this is the new way right the hashtags is the new way the normal one is the old way so for this i think i forgot to put a hashtag here from kv droid dot no dot the two import no that notification notification import um, create notification yeah so this is the way you should do it that is when you start using KV Droid yeah uh, why am I on my own project board? Actually, that's, that was my own fault. Let me go to the main project, which is the KV Droid. So, PyAndroid KX was the initial idea that I have. Actually, it was a fork of KV Droid. Some of you know the story behind the scene. Uh, it was a fork of a KV Droid. So, with time, uh, there was no any communication in kv droid i decided to pull away and rename it to kv droid uh, 500 kx but later on um we established a communication and here we have it kv droid so use kv droid instead of 500 kx do not use 500 kx anymore 500 kx doesn't exist all we have is kv droid okay so for those of you who have kv droid from the last time do update your package now this is what we have here create notification as you can see the steps you have to follow now the main game here is get resource drawable blah 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 icon so this get resource is actually let me open up a new tab of uh, github yeah. so i have github.com and um, what else uh so i'm looking for my report hang on i'm looking for this guy your profile yeah so i'm looking for machine store yeah <coughs> okay now i'm looking for this guy i'm just trying to show you what this guy resource drawable the notification does now we are going to enter the source folder we're going to enter remember this is the your build user file i mean your build user directory where you build your application so when you build the application you are going to go through this build user android platform blah 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 so just follow the directories until you get to the main point of what i'm doing right now so click on main and uh Go to our no rest. I think it's on rest folder. Mm -hmm. So this get resources gets you any of these folder here. Yeah, that is the function of this get resource. It gets you any of this folder. The folder you input here is what it is going to give you back. 
yeah so when you say get results uh, drawable it says okay drawable here I am I forgot to rename this to IC launcher it depends on the name you give your icon IC launcher yeah sure if you say get resource layout it gets you that well that's that's not what we're here for today let's go to get resource and now you have this your icon the PNG your pre splash blah 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 let me check whether icon works here is there icon here I see A B C D notification IC launcher okay actually Kiwi has renamed it from icon to IC launcher it has been lost last time I updated my sister repo god help me <laughs> okay so we are going to go with IC launcher yeah now this points to this thing yeah any of these thing you put there if you put icon or png there it's your own cup of tea so um, whatever thing you choose it depends on you now when i run this notice something notice something um you see this icon here this icon is supposed to take with it the page news test letter because that is the icon of the app let's see if it is the icon of the app yeah like the initial idea is for us to get just this pi genius on the notification instead of getting a white a white square face like we do all get from even players notification too which is totally not good so there's a way to clear the uh the rebels or whatever you call it in the air let's move on to uh, this yeah now there's a website which i'll be putting in the description to this video yeah this website roman blah 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 blah, blah. so this website helps you to create icons yeah your icon must be transparent it must have a transparent background i wanted to download a tool to help us create a transparent icon but uh i couldn't see any let's see if we can download some from google download transparent icon let's go to images okay i don't think there is any transparent icon here none 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 okay i think i see some yeah so a transparent icon is something like this yeah but i can't uh, start doing shit with this is this thing transparent i don't really know let's see if we can download the image it should be downloaded by now yeah let's open it and see how it looks okay not today mm, no this is not what we're looking for i think it has that background which we don't like no this is not a transparent a transparent icon this is only meant to appear the black icon is only meant to appear i think it's already transparent let's upload it to to uh, this guy uh, wait let's upload is there a drag and drop oh god my god i think it is a drag and drop but let's look for already made transparent icons so these are transparent icons as you can see there is a uh or something inside of it there is a see a see true image i'll say true you can see the background inside of this icon this is a transparent icon so you have to upload it here then you click download zip I think it should download it should download this for us come on 
uh, cancel it has already downloaded now inside of the zip file let's open the zip file I think I have to use my ES file explorer sorry okay now inside of the zip file I'm going to go to internal storage and uh, I'm going to go to downloads where are my downloads okay downloads is here and I'm going to open the IC skylight notification blah 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 yeah yes if you are now it's going to give you the rest folder remember the rest folder you saw earlier on brave webs now brave guitar my jeez okay yeah this rest folder now let's see what is contained on the inside of the rest folder as you can see you see drawables of different sizes yeah this is hdpi blah 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 so you have to copy this folder you go to just only copy the rest see there, or the contents of the rest folder copy all of it then go to your rest folder here and paste it inside of it if it says uh, merge folder because there's already a drawable folder here if it says merge do merge it it's not going to override any of your current icon so merge all of it now you have your icon inside of it so you can reference it we still drawable don't put uh don't say drawable slash hd no 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 no. they are all drawables it just depends on the size of your phone if your phone is hdpi it is going to use the icon inside of this if it is mdpi is going to use the icon inside of this so it depends on your phone screen resolution size or whatever it is called now we're going to open this and let's see how this image looks like oh okay as you can see yeah this is the image now if i should run my code with this image which is not here um, i will show you the with example of kv droid yeah this is the one for kv droid the white area you are looking at the white areas you are looking at is transparent no i think they are not transparent are they transparent good i don't know where it's transparent whether the blue side or the white side i think it's the blue side the blue side is transparent the white side is not or the blue side, i've forgotten whichever one is transparent <laughs> it doesn't matter so when i give the color it's going to affect it and the transparent side is going to show out right yeah i think the transparent side is the blue side mm -hmm. yeah I, I don't know the transparent side it's not the blue side. <laughs> I don't know guys, so whatever. Just make it transparent. It's going to pop out this 4K no matter what. No matter how it looks like, it's still going to show you that 4K. Whichever one that is transparent. So let's head on. Now that we understand that we have to make our image transparent. You simply have to now reference it, drawable IC launcher, whatever name you give to it so like this one says it says um it says what it says i see skylight notification yeah let me open that again i see skylight notification please don't put the dot png it is not necessary don't try it at home just put ic underscore skylight underscore notification dot png no no dot png so that's just it and boom when you run your code yeah i just wanted to check on you did i just run this code so when you run your code boom you get the color you want if you are on android 7 below i think or android 8 below you should get a color on the text too so now the channel id the channel id is something that says is it the channel id hey do not override let me let me close this entirely yeah so that's we have full focus here 
get away when I'm looking at you. So I'm going to run this guy to check. Run. Let me see if it's oh, oh it went ahead to override. So this is not what we're looking for. What we are looking for should be this or the IDs. Yeah, the IDs. Let me change this to two. Notice that it didn't override any. It didn't override the previous message. If you are using the player's version, it overrides the previous message. I think they didn't set the IDs or the channel ID or whatever it is called. So they didn't make it public. I think they have to make it public. So I explained the reason why they not push this to player is because of I will break the the cross-platform philosophy they have there so that is why they need to push it to uh, apply let me change this guy to um, welcome to Pi genius right and change this guy to three mm -hmm. okay now you see welcome to Pi genius now if I should still leave it at that tree and say welcome to Pi geniuses and run this code notice something it override the third id the first id didn't touch it the second id so if you are uploading if you are sending um, series of notifications from different activities or from different screens of your phone there are many activities going on in your phone and you don't want to override the current message that already exists there this is what you do um so now how do you put buttons yeah, like we have here uh, so guys in the next video we will discuss that in depth how it works entirely I'm going to close the chapter here yeah so see you guys on my next video um, so where where's the stop icon to stop recording